another quick Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm just going to be looking at how to put a skull on somebody's face and give them a, a skull demon look. So the photo that I've chosen is uh, the, the Mona Lisa here and all we're going to do is get a nice photo of a skull and let's see, let's get the background eraser tool. Now let's try the magic eraser tool, let's just see if we can erase the background, that's perfect. So then we're going to copy the skull across to the, the Mona Lisa image and just use the transform tool and we can just make this smaller and all I'm going to do here as well is just reduce the, the opacity of this layer and just see if we can line this up. So here we go. Is there Trying to make sure that it's just up around our forehead and seeing that it covers our eyes and and our nose as well. Yeah, that looks okay there actually. Now, as you can see, our underneath our nose uh, is actually not lined up very well. So all I'm going to do here is come up to the transform tool and just take the perspective tool and just try and sort of in open this out a bit more just so we can we can get a, a nice angle with the skull. And that's a bit better. And then if I shrink that now, just in the height, we should be able to actually squeeze in everything in there. So yeah, that's starting to look quite good. Now I'm just going to come over and go to the, uh, let's see, the some of the blending effects. Let's just bring the opacity back up here. Uh, let's see which ones we've got. Yeah, I, I really liked, uh, I really liked this effect uh, with the darken. Now, unfortunately, we've, we do have our our nose shown here. So how do we how do we fix and correct that? So I'm just going to apply this here. Uh, and just come in a bit closer and let's just see if we can somehow cover the, the nose a bit more with the with the skull where it should be. Let's see about here. Just pull that out of there a bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna come back and use the let's come back and use the perspective tool again just to once again, just to give us a bit more of, of an outside angle. There we go. That actually is that's covering our nose quite well now. So there we go, we've got our, our skull lined up. I think that's probably the best we're going to get. So I'm just going to take the eraser tool and just rub around our, our chin here and just remove that part if we're the side of the skull is and just come up here on the edge just so we can get our, our hair flowing through. Yeah that's looking that's looking perfectly lined up there. So now all I'm gonna do is just come in with the where are we? Just with the blur tool here. I'm just gonna make sure I've got a nice low low brush uh, and just come along the edge of where the skull meets our, our face and just just really just sort of smudge smudge that area there and just to to blend it in a bit more. So just running that up there just quite quick. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's just zoom in here. Yeah, that's that's looking good. Let's just try and blend the 
this out a wee bit more. Let's pull the edges out just a bit. And I'm just going to come back and use the, the blur tool again and just get a bit of a bigger brush just to really sharpen up this this blend here. So it's still quite noticeable. effect is if we just merge both these layers together. Let's just come back and again just and we can blend in just a, a bit better as well with the merging of the layers. As we can see, we can see our eyes under here, so I'm just going to quickly come up and get the brush tool and just change it to a dark colour and just darken around the eyes there so we can't really see the eyes. And there we go, that gives us a nice creepy Mona Lisa skull face. Try it on your friends too. <laughs> 